Hey there fellow SweetScript developers, Eric from Stoic Software here again. And today in this video we are going to learn about sourcing. Sourcing is a very powerful feature in NetSuite that lets us pull data into a record from any of its related or linked records without writing any code or building any workflows to do that. Before we get started, as always, I am available to train you or your team in SweetScript development. Just check out the video description for a link to the website where you can get all the details on how to contact me directly. And with that out of the way, let's get started. So what you can see here, I think sourcing is best explained with an example. So what you're seeing on the screen is just a regular employee record. And what we're gonna do is use sourcing to pull data from a supervisor's record into an employee record. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a new employee that reports to Mr. Mark Jones here, and I'm gonna pull Mark Jones's phone number into that employee record. And we're gonna do that using sourcing. You can pull in using sourcing almost any data in the body of a related record. So we're just going to use the example of a phone number. The first step is to make the custom field that will actually pull in the sourced data. So make a new new field called supervisor's phone. That applies to our employee records. The field that you make has to be the same type of the field that you're pulling from. So we want to pick, we're pulling in a phone number, so I want to make a phone number field. All of the sourcing settings are controlled on the sourcing and filtering tab. First one is the source list. And the source list is the related record that we're pulling data from. So in this case, we want to pull data from the supervisor record. And then there's the source from, which is the actual field on the supervisor record that we want to pull data from. So as I said, we want to pull in the phone number and that is all there is to it. I will save that new field and let's make a new employee that reports to Mark Jones. Use the standard form here. You'll see our supervisor's phone field just shows up on the custom tab. Mr. Tim Jones here, who reports to Mark Jones. As soon as I selected Mark Jones, you can see that it pulled in the that pulled in Mark Jones's phone number. So we save our employee, and on the custom tab, you can see the supervisor's phone number has been sourced in. Now. Let's say that Mr. Jones gets a promotion to a nice, and he moves to the nice corner office, and that comes with a new phone. So, changes his phone number, save that. And we refresh the page on our Tim Jones here but you'll see the supervisor's phone did not actually update. Well, Mark Jones's number is all fours. Tim supervisor's phone here did not stay in sync, which you might have expected. Now that can happen, but that's actually not how we set it up. That is not the default behavior when you create a custom field. So the setting, that controls that if we go back to our supervisor's phone field is this store value field right here. So this setting has a very important impact on the behavior of sourcing. So when it is checked as it is now, NetSuite will only perform the sourcing. It will only go pull the data in when the record is first created. So when we created this uh, Tim Jones record and selected Mark Jones as the supervisor, it went out, pulled the data, 
once we saved the record, NetSuite broke the link because it's going to store this field value with the record itself. It is not going to dynamically source it every time the record is accessed. If we want that to happen, all we have to do on this field is uncheck store value and save it. Then if we go back to Tim Jones here and we refresh, now you can see that NetSuite went out and it updated automatically the record. If I edit Mark Jones's phone number again, let's change it to all threes. And refresh here. Again, all three. So now, now that store value is unchecked on our supervisor's phone record, NetSuite is dynamically sourcing the data every time the record gets loaded from the database. That is sourcing very quickly in a nutshell. Um, there are a few limitations. You cannot add sourcing to native fields. Uh, so if you want to always pull data into a native field, you are going to have to write a script or build a workflow to do that. You also cannot add sourcing to sublist columns. So again, you will need a script or a workflow to take care of sourcing on sublist. All right, and that is it for this lesson. If you liked what you saw in this video, hit that thumbs up button. Go share what you learned with somebody else. Got plenty more videos right here on my channel for you to check out, and I publish them very regularly, so click that subscribe button to stay updated on all my latest videos. Thanks for watching. Keep learning, keep sharing, and I'll see you next time.